Shalom, greetings to you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, wherever we, you are. It's a blessed day that the Lord has granted us. Understand that the day has its source in God. And therefore, if you want to control anything, you stand in its original source. If you want to control the end, you stand or you discover the beginning of that very thing and you uproot it from its roots and then you 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 are you have you have controlled you know the rest of uh, the flow from that source now if you stop a source from somewhere if there is a flow of waters and you go into the source and you you stop it from the source the water will not continue to flow, right? So we want to have authority and power in a day. We have to understand what does the day get its power? What does it get its life? God said, let's, be, let's there be this. Let's there be this. And uh, he created the first day. The Bible says it was the first day. And that day was created by God, the second day, the third day, and so on and so forth, which means... Um, we can stand from in God while we are and we control the day because we have been brought where God is. We have been brought where everything originates from and God made us authorities or powers or given us that grace to reign over his creation. And so that is very very important it means that we have authority over the day so the day should not behave the way it wants it should flow or follow the orders of the of 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 from the high command and the high command is in you from you if you understand well again understanding will always be important the understanding is key it's very very important Anything that we don't understand, we'll misunderstand it and we'll suffer because of our lack of knowledge. And that is to reject knowledge. And many people reject knowledge without knowing and hence that, that, that is the, the source of their, their struggles. Um, and, and there's nothing that we cannot overcome if we understand everything we've got to understand from God, you know, and then will be at peace. The result of knowing the truth, the Bible says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. So the freedom is a result of knowing the truth. So if there is no freedom, simply understand that the lack of freedom is based on ignorance. Do you, do you see this? Because if knowing the truth makes you free or sets you free, if you don't know the truth, you will experience the contrary. And that means you will be bound. So it's clear if you, you get it, it's very clear. Thank God for this opportunity that the Lord has granted us. And always be grateful unto him because of his love, because of his care, favor, mercy. His presence is right here. And uh, we might not acknowledge the presence of God, but praise, God is present. One of the attributes of God is that He is omnipresent. He's everywhere at the same time. 
And if he's everywhere at the same time, we might not acknowledge him, but he's he's there. We might not acknowledge that he's there, but he's there, right? And and if you want, you can see a lot of uh, signs or uh, um, indicators that proves the presence of God in your life. God is in our lives, whether we know it or not, but the knowledge of it will set us free, will lead us into the experience. Glory to God. Now, in Ephesians chapter 1, verse... Uh, Ephesians chapter 1, verse... Um, we, we begin from verse uh, 18, 17, 18, 19 while we are looking at uh, the revelation of the power of God. The revelation of the power of God because we have to get it. What is the power of God? Where is this power of God? How to move in this power of God? So the power of God is supposed to be known and understood by us. Again, whatever we don't know, we not experience. When you know, you experience what you know. So everything begins through knowledge, through this revelation knowledge. The more you know, the better you, you live. So our lives should be based on the kind of knowledge we have. And, and hence, it's important. It's important for everyone to know you know living in ignorance has nothing to add in your life it only cause misery because of misinterpreting everything you begin to misinterpret this misinterpret that you think someone is stopping you or somebody has power over you or you think that you have nothing to do with a certain case or situation a little did you know that Nothing is supposed to stop you or limit you if you understand how God has designed everything. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, in first in Ephesians chapter 1, right, and verse, uh, verse 17, from verse 17, let's read from verse 17, we see, the Bible says that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, I normally don't like to begin with uh, that sentence that's not begin with the word that, you know, it doesn't make sense. So let me begin with verse 15 to have a clear picture of what we're talking about here. Therefore, I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints, do not cease to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, the Father of glory, this is beautiful, may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Well, Paul was glad as he was writing to this church, Ephesians, and he said, well, I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and your love for all the saints. These are very two powerful uh, statements. One is talking about the faith they had in the Lord Jesus Christ. And number two, the faith in the Lord Jesus and also their love to all saints. You know, for all the saints, not everybody loves all the saints. In fact, religion has taught us to be segregative. When you look at how we think about others, it will shock you. And that will reveal you what we've been feeding on. Did we feed, have we been feeding on the right um, food, the right meal? Or this message we've been hearing or been 
feeding on has is problematic itself has caused uh, us to think negatively about others and this will not help us succeed you cannot win in uh, hatred in uh, fighting others uh, loving some and hating others you know th there's no victory in that and we have not realized that that's one of the reasons why people will not advance and in the kingdom of god there should be love because god is the source of that kingdom he's the light of that kingdom and he is love a sign that god is in the places in the life of somebody is actually love love is a message itself the life of love is the life of god and that's how you see it so paul was so excited when he was writing to them and he was saying when i heard of the love you have for all the saints my god i don't cease to pray for you i don't cease to pray for you And he says that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Well, we spoke about this in one of our sermon, and the spirit of wisdom and revelation is very key to know God. He's actually telling us that you cannot know God unless you are aided, helped by the spirit of wisdom and and revelation so the spirit of wisdom and revelation will help us know God otherwise you cannot know God by your own mind by your own intelligence you cannot comprehend God well he says I pray that there will be this spirit of wisdom and revelation by the way understand that he talked about the faith they had in Christ Jesus he said amen to that he said that is wonderful number two that you love all the saints that's beautiful but still i pray that you may have the spirit of wisdom and revelation you know and, and, and the knowledge of him you know verse 18 says the eyes the eyes of your understanding so our understanding or the eyes of your heart there are some versions that uses the word the eyes of your your uh, your your heart so the eyes of your understanding right um being enlightened i like this word enlightened illuminated in other words flooded with light so the light shines upon your eyes of the under of your understanding and you are able to see or comprehend certain higher and deeper things of god so you see this is not just you know ordinary knowledge ordinary um, understanding there is this illumination so 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 important it's so important well and that's power itself you see when your eyes are open in the first place that's power you don't know the power you have or you don't know how powerful it is to be able to see a man called Samson one day, he was caught by the Philistines. They made him a slave. He was so powerful prior to that capture. But when they caught him, they took out of his eyes. They made him blind and they could use him the way they wanted because he couldn't see. All the power he had seemed you know useless because the ability to see itself is power so he says i pray so that you may be able to see with the eyes of your understanding why because i want you to have power whatever you don't see you cannot control but what you see you can control you can have it you can take it you can you know do much with what you are able to see but if you cannot see, that is weakness itself. So he said, I pray that you may be able to see the eyes of your understanding. This, this itself is power. Glory to God. Shalom, shalom.